she wanna live star life with a G. Spaceship blast off, make she see the speed. Cause amigo, she want a skinny weed. Cause a blank on the name when you see me tease. Me and Sean to live that star life that Joshi and the Marco talk about. You know, you have to have some star money, but you also have to start from somewhere. You don't have a job? Tis, tis, tis. You don't have to worry yourself though. Tomorrow will be Rummy's job fair. Although I see the application fee or entry fee, whichever way you want to put it, it seems to be a problem to a lot of people. People must say you want to charge us thousand dollars for us to get a job. It not gonna work. Before we go any further, let us properly kick off the report. Tef near Shandy Entertainment Feed Community. Wag one. What do you on the Thursday as Spotlight Thursdays? Community members, enough love and blessings on the Thursday morning here. What do you once again with the ENT news the add topics to updates? With that said, on to the topics. So, Rami's job fair is tomorrow. Positions needed. Editor about the service. Videographers, makeup artists, promo girls, set designers, sound engineer, truck and trailer drivers, photographers, hairdressers, graphic artists, producers, dressmakers, marketing executives, musicians. Let me correct that statement. Musician, not musicians. Execution planners and videographers. I don't know if I forgot to mention animator and dancers. Maybe, maybe not. But still, you see what's going on. Entry fee $1,000 as stated before. Lot of people have a problem with that and they made it known. A blast rummish in the comment section asks him way more to do with them $1,000. So, why him need them $1,000? Some people even suggest take the money out of the person's first paycheck rather than charge everyone $1,000. Just for a chance to get a job. Rummy is reacting to those that are bashing about the $1,000 entry fee. He took to social media where he shared this picture with the caption stating, I am doing something that has never been done in Jamaica, starting jobs for peeps, and you all talking shit because there's an entry fee of 1000 k to get an interview for a job that will pay you thousands of dollars. This is why our culture don't get better. You all find it hard to invest and make yourself better, SMH. Jamaica people, wake up. Also, if you don't agree with how I do my thing, don't join my team, as simple as that. Rummy shared that with the caption stating, Simple and straight, I ain't begging no one to join my team. Even make it worse, if you're coming around me with negativity, you can't join my team. Always learn this. People afraid of new rules and regulations, they don't like difference. That's why they follow, well sorry, I am a leader, so I gonna be different. For all the peeps who want work, once you far for the job, see you fry. I don't know. The thousand dollars though. I don't see a big deal with it. I know some people are gonna say but theft thousand dollars are the easiest thing to get and so on. But thousand dollars ain't the hardest thing to get at the same time. And let's be honest, people take thousand dollars though as sort of thing so to get a chance for an opportunity to get a job. Thousand dollars is the entry fee. Nothing is wrong with that. That is just my opinion still. And based off of the backlash that Ramesh got, clearly you have others who think different. If you really want this thousand dollars shouldn't be an issue and then at them time you have to wait thousand dollars a one box food and a one juice or a two piece meal out of kfc has no fun love go out there thousand dollars a little cheaper than most prices at burger king and if you don't have a problem with rum you should charge thousand dollars more than likely who know enough for the taxi man they might go kick off pertaining to the fear increase of course why is that java <laughs> Sir, I'm not i Sir, 
has an unjust left here. Every tax left that dollar from here can come to us. No, it's all right. Everything is good. Great. It's all right. Thank you. Come on, you pull your cuss for the water. Why you blood cross them? 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 This video recently started to circulate on social media. Man, baby. Upgrading a man, baby. Back to your regular. That one name Kill Police. Sweet man, baby. The sweet man, baby. Man, baby. Me no want to do it, man, baby. God, no. The sweet man, baby. Sweet there. The sweet man, baby. Man, baby. See Sometime after that, Jamaica Constabulary Force shared this. Mampi, Mampi, please give us a call. I think I see one post that stated there was some kind of reward. Don't know if that was an actual post from the Jamaica Constabulary Force. Maybe, maybe not. But this is Mampi, Mampi, please give us a call. And it seems as if Mampi certainly gave the police a call. Maybe, and Mampi still, maybe it's someone else who saw his face, saw the video, and know that person. And I say, you know what? This someone here move while. I can call police before him end up hurt someone or maybe even hurt himself. So, they gave the Jamaica Constabulary Force a call. The Jamaica Constabulary Force later shared this. Person of interest, Jason Wright, farmer of Cemetery Road, Trelawney. Detectives assigned to the Trelawney Police Division launched an investigation into a video posted on social media on Tuesday, October 17th and has caught the attention of the officers and the wider public. In the video, 33-year-old Jason Wright, a farmer from Cemetery Road, Troy Trelawney, is seen handling a firearm and making threatening remarks towards the police, specifically stating Mampi, the one and kill police, referencing to the weapon in his possession. In response to the viral video, an early morning operation was conducted at Trelawney residence of Mr. Jason Wright on October the 18th. While Mr. Wright was not seen during the operation, Two of his close relatives were taken into custody for questioning. Initial investigations have determined that the video was recorded at Mr. Wright's residence in the Troy District, Trelawney. Mr. Wright is identified as a frequent visitor to Kingston and Breeze Hall. The man can live someplace there, but let me continue. Mr. Wright is identified as a frequent visitor to Kingston and Breeze Hall in the Christiana Police area of Manchester. As a result of the viral video and the subsequent findings, he has become a person of interest in a case concerning the possession of a prohibited weapon and unauthorized possession of ammunition. The investigation is currently being handled by the Trelawney police. The police are urging Mr. Wright to turn himself in immediately. He is encouraged to do so in the company of his attorney, a justice of peace or any reputable citizen. The entertainment for the community stated thoughts and that's back to the music. Joshi and DeMarco with the song titled Star Life. Fat Ben pull up at the parking lot, like every talking stop. Put some cushion at the raw whistler. Party start anywhere the artist stop. Girl, I get violent, jazz it drop. We also have T Fraser with the visuals for the song titled Big Dreams. Made it through the obstacles, girl, I'm not the worst. Most of my friends, them yo gone in a earth. I just wanna live my life, I'm tired of being hurt. And when you're doing positive, they don't want it to work. Strangle poverty and give thanks to God work. Glad me know Once again. That is Steve Fraser with the song titled Big Dreams. Made it through the obstacles, girl, I'm not the worst. Most of my friends, them yo gone in a earth. I just wanna live my life, I'm tired of being hurt. And when you're doing positive, they don't want it to work. The entertainment feed community, Raga Shanti. Although I see a lot of pages later share the video, but I first saw it on Raga Shanti's page. He shared this video. The video is shared with the caption stating not the caption from Raga Shanti, but the caption that is written on the video itself. Shocking confession from the hitman that made even police investigators break down in tears. It's alleged Leona Bradshaw was standing right there giving instructions. Before those men allegedly killed the baby, the baby were playing with them and the baby were very happy, especially the one who did the shooting. The baby did not play with him, the baby go away, my baby, I jump up on him and all of this something. There. I mess with him and I was like, yes, Brian G. In talk, so the baby did a play with him and the baby very loving and that when the baby that play with him, the mother the smile and all of this something there. You understand what I mean? I say, I'm with them to um, realize, when the mother do realize, say, I, 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 I kill them, I'm going to kill them. And the mother the ball and the big and say, to him say, please, I'm going to kill my baby. I'm going to kill my baby. 
this case the more disturbing it becomes and the more you yeah, question the art of man the entertainment feed community just before close off remember songs to check out joshi and demarcus star life fat men pull up at the parking lot every talking stop put some cushion at the raw whistle party start anywhere the artist stop D Fraser with the visuals for the song titled Big Dreams. Made it through the obstacles, God, I'm not the worst. Most of my friends, them yo gone in a earth. I just wanna live my life, I'm tired of being hurt. And when you're doing positive, they don't want it to work. Nation, yeah, that died right for now. You see what time a clock, you see what time a knock, we are and get the car here. And as usual, my people. And when you're doing positive, they don't want it to work. Hey. 